Freights, Michigan. How old are you? I am 36. 36, what you do for a living? Not you got somebody heart racing over here, okay? They tell me everyone gets nervous. You turn your volume off, I think someone calls yes. you. Yes, not everybody want to call. I've been sitting here getting my hair braided, ain't nobody called me since. Okay. All right, let's save the time. So we got Jay Detroit, 36. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Libra. Bro, you have any children? No, I, I do not. No kids. I love kids, but I, I haven't found the right person. So. Okay. Stop Just watching the Single phone. Moms Club on it on Netflix. So you know. Say again. TV shows. I said I was just watching Single Moms Club on Netflix. They teach you something. These movies they coming out with. Single moms? Is it single mom clubs or first wife? Club? No, it's a new one with Tyler Perry in it. It's called Single Moms Club. Oh, okay. And they will teach you. What did you learn from watching it? Um, just to be patient, to listen, and you know, most of the women were get had a divorce that you can just move on. Don't let the man control you and take care of your kids if you have them. You know, don't lose yourself. Okay, 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 okay. Got you. Ain't no okay. Hell! Come on. What the fuck is you talking about? These women, they sit in the house all day long brainwashing they damn self. She said, I'm watching some Tyler Mary Pre It teach you, don't let no man walk all over you when you got your kids and don't let that man do some color purple madness and i'm sick of it what tyler Perry came up with some single mom's handbook is that what we saying come on tyler perry we gotta stop you know what someday we gotta answer for these actions whether you know we our actions were for good or for bad that's insane yeah now i guess there's some new show called like the real side chicks of la they ain't gonna stop keep it up Keep it up, y'all all gonna be casualties. I don't care. So that was a plug for the new our new show. I yeah. wasn't aware of it. Yeah. So we got Jay, Detroit, 36, Libra, no kids. What do you do for a living? I am an operations director for a company called Concentra Urgent Care. We do a lot of the drug screens and pre-employment physicals for a lot of the companies. We okay. were a lot. All right. So I think I got it all. Let's write it, let's go run it back and then get into it. Jay, Detroit, 36, Libra, no kids, operations director. Yes. What kind of man are you looking for, honey? At this point, I don't even know. I'm just going to keep it real. I run into the wrong one, so I'm just praying. Well, let's go with the deal breakers. What are your deal breakers? Um, my deal breakers is smoking cigarettes. Cannot, cannot, cannot at all. Um not taking care of your children that you have. I can deal with nothing past two kids. And they have to be older. They cannot be young, because nine times out of 10, you still scoring your baby mama. So what's the youngest the child can be? I say between five and seven. Youngest five, for sure. Not, nothing younger than five? Nothing, no, none whatsoever. Okay. Um, what are your, that, those are your deal breakers, correct? Yeah, kids under five, no smoking cigarettes, and bad hygiene. Not no nails dirty unless you're working. Then, you know, I'll take you to go get you a manicure because I want you to rub on his body. You hear me? But mm -mm, all that stank breath, clothes smelling like mildew. No. No. Okay, get it together. Get it okay. together. You see what I'm saying? And what was I saying to Tierney yesterday? These women will reach down to the bottom of the barrel when they're giving their descriptions. They go, I'm so. This woman said, I won't take no man whose clothes is smelling like mildew. What in the world? Listen here, fellas, there ain't no need for them to be stinking. Or funky or musty, you know, none of that, or none of that. Mildew, she said mildew. That or mold, just, yeah. These people be in these mold apartments, come out now, smell like mold. Yeah, she probably then, mispronounced it herself. There you go. No, no climate control, no AC. I get it in the summertime. Uh, Nug Nug keep throwing on them dingy, ashy black jeans. 
and they all stiff. I get, I get it, I get it, and they mildewy. And he come over there and his 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 scrotum mildewy. That's unfortunate. I get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And my guy Q, he says she aging in dog years. Man, she ain't done. She about to get into it. Here we go. Um, should he look a certain way? I think that's something I got to get out of. But I like a, I like big guys. Um, I, I don't like them too skinny. I say that. I like a little good, but if you got a little six pack, eight pack, whatever you want, it's it's okay. But not too skinny, cause I love to cook. You gonna get big, fucking with me? Excuse my friend. She love to cook. She got she got sticky what? Yes. Okay. No people, no vegetarians, cause it ain't happening. No vegetarians. What about money? Excuse money. Me. Ooh, he needs to at least make more than me. Um, I make like 70, 75. So he at least has to make more than me. I don't have any kids. I'm very spoiled. I enjoy my life abundantly. So he has to be able to match that. I was just telling somebody like my parents, not fuck me up, but they did because I'm not waiting on no man to do nothing. I know a lot of people be like, oh, I need a man to do this and do that. Baby, it's going to get done, whether you are around or not. And I, yes, I have friends that's going to come through. I don't have sex with them or anything, but they come in. If I ask them to, I, one of my friends just came and shoveled. He didn't shovel my snow. He shoveled my streets. When they say, come come clean up, clean up. I mean, shovel the whole, whole street because I'm, I'm not getting stuck nowhere. I'm over. Hell no. Come on, wait to the no, no, no. Come on, come on. Simps, shout, shout out to the heathen queen. Hey, you, be, you, be. <laughs> you might be on to something. We gonna keep that up because we we've been saying that type of stuff. But you was driving it home last night, and we have said it before. But simps are messing the game up for everybody. It appears. Look at the arrogance. That this this is nuts. She said. She said, <laughs> "I don't need a man. I'm gonna get it done." And if I need a dude to come through, I have got orbiters on standby. The the best of orbiters, munches, whoever I need. I got about five, six of them. Um, the one dude, I tell him, I say, hey, it's snow. You see it done snow, Jerome. No, nah, this ain't a Jerome. This a Carl. Carl, you seen it done, done snow. Come shovel. She said, not my driveway. She said, he shoveled my street. Show me. How did he do this? He got a plow in the front of his truck or he was out there with a show. Show me. And for no coup de cata, these women, who do? Who do? <laughs> Talking about he got to make at least what I make, 75 men Honey shoveling cake. the whole street with a, uh, you know, a 12-inch shovel. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Oh. He shoveled the whole street. Cause when I say clean up, I mean cleans up. <laughs> man, here, man. Disclaimer. Hey, I tell you what, I don't know why she's so full of herself. According to uh the Braca, her cuda cat ain't worth a dang because she ain't got no kids. So <laughs> that part. So, but she up in there like I don't cook. I don't clean, but let I, me tell you, I got I, this ring. Says she was already lacking with the hard chin, wrinkled lips, and slow eye, but the attitude and her damn mouth has her in no man's land. Fire up the sub. With no man by your side because your damn mouth is what it is. It's a snake pit. Snake pit. Says, is it just me? But I see not one top tooth. Yeah, she, yeah she, got, she got crack mouth. She got crack mouth. And y'all sitting out there right now, y'all saying, what is crack mouth? <laughs> Hold on. Be a little bit of the time. Never. Never. One rock. Never. Have. <laughs> Tried it one time. Ah, I knew I had. I can smell it. <laughs> I can smell it. Anybody coming here having used crack, I can smell it. <laughs> I smell a little crack in you. <laughs> and did y'all see her mouth? That's that crack when your lips start sucking in like you ain't got no teeth. But you got teeth. 
Just crack mouth. The more you, the more you know, crack mouth. There we go. <laughs> Says if she goes down on you, her chin is gonna bust your groin. <laughs> 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 He said she got that gooch buster. Oh, <laughs> oh. God. <laughs> Appreciate you, big Mike for the five dollars. Says Chinderella says she deserves to be provided for. Man, she gonna bust your gooch to the smithereens. So, like I said before, she ain't done, fellas. Here we go. You know, we just had a winter storm, but. No. So if you come in, come correct, like correct through Mundo, correct. Let me ask you this. And I think that it's a lot of women who financially can take care of themselves um, do feel as though, you know, obviously they don't need a man because they can financially take care of themselves. But let me ask you this. Do you want a family one day? Is it your desire to be a, a mom and a wife? Yes. I'm not saying I don't need a man. Okay. I ain't say that. Okay. I'm not the one to be like, oh, I need a man to do this and that. I want a man to do that. But he has to want to do that. Some men are not trained properly or they wasn't raised right to pump the gas and make sure your woman made it home. They don't know. A, an easy text message, an easy call, baby, make sure you let me know when you made it home or did you make it home. That's what I want. I want someone to genuinely love themselves so that they can properly love me. But some of our men, I don't know about out there, but I know here, you know, they wasn't raised right. They wasn't raised to give that love. So I, I want somebody to genuinely give it to me so I can give it back to them. Because they don't be having it. They want that, but they so strong and, and proud of, they don't give it. Or they mm. give it to the wrong ones. Ooh. They give it to the wrong ones. Sometimes. Okay, Jay. They say you preach it, Jay. Oh, I'm Congregation sorry. in session, Jay. Well, pass the plate. <laughs> sorry, I'm just saying. Because <laughs> she will take <laughs> your money. All right, so 75 and K up is what you desire for a second. Yes. yes. All right, let's do the kids again. Girl. 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 I got, um, listen, my Christmas tree still up. Ah. In the spirit, I don't even know where I'm gonna put this at. Okay, let me put it right here. Yes, I do have on my PJs because I just got my hair braided. Let me button my shirt up. <laughs> oh, you got to shave. Okay, okay. Waist in, waist in, curvy. Yes, I do. I'll tuck it in so you can Ooh. see. I got some nice legs. These about to go soon, so if you want to be with me, you better appreciate them while they're here, okay? Where they going? Oh, I don't know. Somebody can have them. If I could give, if I could bless somebody with them, they could, they be. I'm a real big giver. I love to give. I love to give, give. You want to give your breast away? I, they, they can have them. If I could give them away, they can have them to somebody that want them. That's one thing my mama gave me, that baby. She could have kept that. I will say this. As a girl who has a larger chest now, I understand that sentiment. Like, sometimes you just wish you could take them off and pass them to somebody else. Because we can't fit in all the dresses that we buy. Yeah. It messes up my shirts. You are absolutely Yours right. Yours be right. looking pretty. Sometimes I be like, damn, they little. But then sometimes I'm like, damn, them bitches big. I wore a dress. My tape wouldn't even want to stick. I'm like, dang, girls. Like, come on. Now I look out for y'all at times. Look out for me. This is one time and it's one dress. Please. You are funny, Jay. I'm sorry. Jay, what was your last relationship? Ooh. If any of my friends on here, they probably like, oh, shit. Um, last year in March, what this is not her angle and i see y'all calling her uh oh <laughs> y'all need to stop <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> y'all wrong man y'all wow oh, that's a bad shot yeah you know what i don't feel bad for this sister she way too arrogant <laughs> i was waiting football junkie thank you yeah quagmire giggity <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, she wild. She can't be talking cash money. Yeah, same here. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. Yeah, I'm gonna let her land this plane because this is so rough. Here we go. <laughs> okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When was the last time you was in spend with someone? Um I think it was in November of last year. I've been on my little celibacy for three months. And so I really Stop. want a relationship, so it's like I can't. Cause I got some make a nigga go crazy. So yeah. I had to get a PP out, out out on my last one. And he don't even care. Wait, uh, tell me what that means. A personal protection order. After you had sex with the guy, he gotta get no. a restraining order? Oh my ex. My ex. Oh, okay. Cause he he couldn't let it go. He don't wanna leave me alone. Mm -hmm. He's so sorry. So love me. Well, you should have loved me when you had me, motherfucker. That's right. That's right. You should have loved. Now you got to go. He been gone. It's been since March of last year. Uh, but he, but you got to put a PPO on him. Yeah, it's in the process because he he won't leave me alone. Like he won't. Man, I don't know. It's it's not it's not a good thing. Sometimes it's a bad thing. It it at first it'd be exciting, like okay, but then it gets to the point where it's like, okay, go. I'll find you somebody else because that's what that's what you wanted. You wanted somebody else, so go enjoy them. I'm giving you; they can have you, baby, because you ain't gonna find one like you ain't. Sorry, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna find one like me. I'm telling you. Hmm. But okay, so no. She's sitting here describing Nug Nug. She talking about I got some what? She sound like Diamond. Once you go down. You gonna commit some crimes around this motherfucker. You got damn break the law to get over here in my ass. I'm talking about running red lights around this bitch. Yeah, yeah man. Had the police putting your ass on a citizen's arrest. Terrible. Terrible. All perverted. I'm over it, man. <laughs> Her cootie cat is so good. Drive a man crazy, yet you out here a single. You got no kids and you single, but you got some of the best cootie cat to make a man go crazy. The dots don't connect. All right. They just not. Stop. Reflect. Shout out to Heathen Queen. Take some time and reflect. <laughs> That's all. Yeah, she out here. I'm a damsel in distress. Hell. <laughs> Hell, I'm in distress, motherfucker. Take me away like cow gun, motherfucker. Hell. <laughs> Hell. Hell. Appreciate you, who's the master for the two dollars? Says HO3, you don't deserve that treatment. Yeah. Oh, HO3. <laughs> Appreciate your project, Lira, for the two dollars. Says Mucho, help her unbig her back and have her crack. <laughs> okay. There you go. Yeah. I mean, she ain't the biggest woman, but could you unbig your back? No, you can't do shit like that. Could you unbig your back? No, you can't do shit like that. Could you unbig your back? Shout out to Bed Mike. Come through like you do with the $30 super chat. Appreciate you. Says, sis is wild. <laughs> Got to give y'all brothers your props on the show. Putting something in the collection plate. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate that, Bed Mike. You been coming through. Yes. You definitely one of the show sponsors right now, brother. We appreciate you. Yes. Money, 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 money. I have to get that updated. Um... Shout out to J-O-B for the $2. Says she owed that dude money. She cap. Huh? He want his bread back. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate your cue for the $2, brother. Says Mr. Walker, Madame Blossom Puppet. Google. Uh, and I shall. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate your project, Leroy, for the $2. Says she trying to get both her driveways plowed. Both of them. Gotcha. It's amazing, man, what some of you simps would do if she's telling the truth. See, you know? the, and that's why she arrogant. I wish, I'll tell you what, I wish I would see a ninja out there shoveling the sidewalk and he can't he can't get nothing out of kiss on the head, forehead. <laughs> she said the whole street. I decided she said he was in the street. She said, I ain't getting stuck nowhere. He was out in the streets. 
she was in her car. She was in her Nissan Maxima, and and she would just go inch by inch as he would clear the way for. Her. That's what right, I see. <laughs> and we back to forty dollars skills, folks. Y'all do what y'all want with her. Here we go. <laughs> So she wants to have sex in a relationship because she got that good, good that make a man go crazy. But I'm just doing that. It's a new year. I'm trying to, you know, get myself right. I am a God-fearing woman. I go to church every Sunday. Hmm. I go to Bible class on Tuesdays. If I can't make it, I'm watching it. Okay? But, you know, you got to get your spirits right sometimes and sit down so God can bless you because you asked it for something. And he's the only person that can give it to you. So sometimes you got to sit down so that he can hear you. Can't too many people be around you because you praying. God ain't going to be able to hear you. Too many people interfering with your, what you want and what you need. And then when he's speaking to you, how you going to hear him? He, how you going to hear him? He's telling you to go to this place and you can't hear him because your friends want you to go to this bar over here. Uh-uh. I'm with you, girl. You preached. I told you, Jay, you've been preaching all night. Oh, I just, you know. <laughs> so why would a guy be like... Hey, Q. Q, I don't know what's becoming of you, brother. I truly don't. That was mean. <laughs> Q. <laughs> Oh, cute. You know, it's crazy. I've seen this show before. I know exactly what the woman sounded like, this puppet. That's messed up, Q. But you are correct. You wrong and right at the same time, Q. <laughs> Here we go. I'm to be with you. Other than your good, good. Um, I'm very loving. I'm family oriented. Um, I love real hard, and I'm a, I'm a treat you like the king that you should be, and if you are not, we gonna get you there. Um, I don't have any kids. I know some men wanna start a family, but you know, I, I offer that because I don't have any. I want my own family, but I don't mind if he has kids. I'm willing to be that woman that you need, want, and desire. Um, I love to cook. Uh, I love to go out. I love to travel. You know, I'm a, uh, I like to experience new things too. So it's like, you know, if he like, oh, come do this, maybe I'm coming with the bells and the whistles. Okay. Okay. I will say one thing I don't, I do not want to date another cancer. I don't. I'm sorry. You have to really show me, show like the show me state. You will have to show me. It ain't happening. I can have for the cancer. Nope. Okay. Jay, what's your age range? You're 36. So I usually date older, wiser, mature men, but I haven't really had a good thing with that. So I'm going to leave it open. Okay. If that's okay. Should be, that's fine. Should it be in Detroit? Heck, I mean, no. You almost said hell no. So that means you relocate? But, girl, what the, what I just say? In the snow, I'm gone. I'm leaving everything here. Christmas tree and all. Bad, you can stay lit for all I care. The bills will be paid. I own my own everything. So it's like, I can do that. Okay. I can get up and move. My, my company that I work for is all over. So, so if that's the problem, if you want me to not work, I'm I'm okay with that too. You can retire her too. Re retire. I'm gonna make sure you are okay. You can be my job. Woo! Okay, okay. Now, Jay, you want to be married? Yes, I do. But I want to enjoy dating. I want to enjoy getting to know each other. I want to enjoy being a fiance i don't want to just jump into it unless if god see fit hey baby because we can go out the country and bring just our little immediate people i'm not and come back Wait, you and said celebrate you the country and me? now i got men out the country so trying so to get dumb. into the country you open no not with that pan stuff i i saw you say that earlier 
They be paying women to do that. Oh, I didn't know. Women are getting money for that? What? Girl, how bad? I didn't know. You serious? I'm very serious. I used to date someone in New York, and he was Nigerian, and, you know, one of his friends did that. They, I was probably like 22, 36 now. He paid a girl like 10000 so it might have went up. But just for y'all that don't know. But yeah, they they pay you to get them their green card and I might shouldn't be saying that. Well, I'm just gonna tell the truth. It is what it is. I don't care. So they what they pay, say, speak the truth, shame the devil. So they're paying huh? the women to marry them and then they get divorced. Oh, I forgot you said you ain't know. You know, sometimes you be playing girl, I don't be knowing that. I don't nobody know right about now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There is powerful niggardry at work here. I can't, man. Kendra always acting street. like she from damn Beverly Hills. She don't know what's going on in the hood. You go with a damn Nigerian, Kendra. Quit acting stupid. You know what the hell's going yeah. on out here. Kendra, you grew up in Chicago. Kendra, see that? Kendra, we understand being removed from circumstances and stuff. But Kendra, you the first woman to come talking about how you so bl very black and you so very hood, but you don't know nothing about what's going on in the hood at all. Yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever. But yeah, this is gonna crack my up here talking about green card scams for sure. Yeah, you might qualify again. She said she had one, or she had a friend that had one. <laughs> Maybe it might be your turn. Yeah, come on, you old baby, baby teeth, Bonquisha. We're gonna go, we're gonna give her thirty more seconds, folks. I, what's funny is I've seen women at times in the comment section say how much thirty thirty thousand I'll do it, but I thought they were just I didn't know that that was actually a thing, and people are actually doing it. Yes, they are. And I'm going to tell the people, I, how do they be reading these comments and paying attention to you at the same time? Because I, I can't. I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm paying attention to you because you just, girl, you, I'm so happy to be on the phone with you. You crazy. In a good way. <laughs> you so crazy. <laughs> I'm not crazy. You is crazy. In the, in the most respectful, uh, just abundant, you, girl, you crazy. <laughs> That's what I would say about me. I'm, I'm, I'm a Taurus, and if, if you if you know, Tauruses are very calm. But when we get riled up, we are like we're literally a bull. So that oh, we, is are, we know we are. That is we are true. Also, I am I am self made in everything. Nothing has ever been given to me. So when you work for everything, you have a different um, tongue. Cause can't nobody tell you shit. Because it's like, oh, I had to get it out the mud. I okay. had to work. I had right. to build. So you, who you who you go and check? It's now, not who you talking person. to. Yeah, it's who like <laughs> when, a, when, when a, I'm a person that literally built everything I've ever had. Like I know some of y'all might have known me today or from the show from four years ago, but this is a 20 year media career that mm -hmm. led to this. So it comes with a little like like um, Birdman would say, put some respect on my name. <laughs> and then sometimes I gotta cut shy asses out because I'm also black. And I and I and I and I've learned how to cussing out people. As if I was born with it as a black person, we were born with the cussing out of um, blood. We Spirit. cuss your ass out. We cuss your ass out. All right, Jay. Listen, I can't talk to you all day. You'd be one of my girlfriends in my real life. But let's For do. Real. Let's get you a man. Right, you want to be on your show? Talk. Let me. I'll be like, let me host because Zach sometimes he be playing and he don't be getting with them and having a good time. We gonna have a good time. It's like he do. Sometimes. Yeah, I'm gonna man up with Listen, me. Listen, we be like, I be like, Zach, say this. Why is y'all doing this to her? I want to just keep hearing her talk. I done had it. I done had it. She, she, she just have been talking and talking and ain't saying nothing. Hey, shout out to Q. You ain't about to sit up here and red fish, blue fish me to death. <laughs> that part. Oh. Yeah, and some squid work. Go ahead, man. Yeah. Now you know what, sister? Going out there, do your thing. Good luck, Godspeed. She ain't got no kids. She thirty six. Uh, junior band, junior band work. She got no kids. Yeah, 
She sounded like she a trust fund kid talking about her parents spoiled her. Good luck. <laughs> no, you're not saying the right shit. I mean, sorry, you're not saying the right stuff. You got to This is your ad lib to they respond. Okay, but anyway, I uh, um, what's my uh girl? You done got me all discombobulated. My Facebook is J Carter, J A Y E, last name Carter. My Instagram is L A D I underscore J baby j a y e baby hmm. Hmm. and i think that's it okay which one do you prefer they have to try either one because my instagram is private and my facebook at five thousand friends so you cannot add me and the reason why i'm gonna tell you this the reason why i said detroit i am very a lot of people know me and my family and so you know, when I meet somebody, I'll be like, nigga, who sent you? You know, or. Oh, wow. I'd be kind of scared because, you know, city of Detroit, we the murder me in and it's. Okay, Jay. Well, anyway, so whatever they feel, I don't know. What you want me to say? No, there you have it. We, we, we're done. We got to go, Jay. I love you. <laughs> I love you too so much. God bless you. God bless and you me. know, everything you touch turned into gold this year is yours, okay? Thank and you, you got on gold. Look at God. Look at God. Right. Stop. Shut up. Stop the cow. Oh, here we go, man. Goodness gracious. I found it. I found it. We're going to bring this IG up real quick and she going somewhere far away. <laughs> it, it, she said everything you touch is, is going to turn to gold you know <laughs> it's called the king Midas touch you know that's a curse <laughs> so here's her Instagram folks um, she got some tig old bitties motor yeah. boat yeah. okay motor boat motor boat yeah, I see why she went over there. Yeah, it was a little wild. <laughs> Some of the people in the chat said that she need to keep them. <laughs> yeah, that's your greatest asset right now. Theo, where you at, big dog? <laughs> and she go not bad. And she in Detroit. She talking about the dating market. Come on. She probably so ran through. She almost 40 years old in Detroit with no kids. She's ran through. The kids don't always identify your body count, you know. There you go. Ah, right, shout out to Crystal. That's what Crystal was hitting that so heavily last night. A little bit too much, but she had a and point. She's speaking about women like her, you know. Yep. But we there can see go, her Crystal. too. We see her. We see her. Hey, see that, Crystal? We see. And we said it. We got you. <laughs> yeah, like you said, it ain't the obvious. and mm -hmm. But, yeah, this is her. She's a whole 304. And we heard her talk, and she told them herself loud and clear. She got a strong mug. She looked like her daddy. I bet you mm -hmm. any money, she looked like her daddy. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speaking of that, I think it's her Paul. So. That's her Paul? No. It's That's her, her Paul. Oh, okay. Her yeah, nevertheless, you see, the jeans is strong. Very strong, even to the cousin. <laughs> and she's extremely top heavy. She ain't blowed out, but she got some mm -hmm. knockers. Yeah. See, I ain't never cared for no boob. I ain't never been no boob. Yeah, them guy. things is motorboating. Where my guy Theo at? Theo, you in Detroit? You playing, Theo? Oh, whoa, Theo! Look at this motorboat. <laughs> Theo, Theo, Theo. Theo. Theo, come look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Holy hell. Theo, stop jiving, huh? You you down you down for a challenge? Huh? Come on, big dog. Go hit her with that baritone voice and make it do what it do. <laughs> yeah, Theo, go and do some reconnaissance. Come back. Tell us. Tell us all about it, Theo. That'd be too dope. There you go. That that right there be some true down home dirty d journalism come on big dog <laughs> so there we go man huh look at them look at them bitties and you know, know what's crazy like she talking about she gonna get them reduced or she said they ain't gonna be there long i that don't really make no sense when they always out 
Like, it would be different. Like, you know, she always covered them up. Like, you know, these boobs, they just always, I got to cover them up. But they always literally out. She can't reach for nothing too high. It's just going to bloop. <laughs> and my guy Theo says, no, nah, she look like Gargamel without makeup. Yeah. <laughs> Gargamel. God <laughs> Oh, man. Not in this one. Look at that filter. That filter hey, is popping, Theo. No Gargamel. No Gargamel right there. <laughs> Heavy on the filter. She looking like an IG model now. Come on. Gargamel. <laughs> Holy <laughs> hell. But this is her. Um... <laughs> She need to humble herself. I'll tell her that. Bitch, I can eat my own cookie cobbler, and it tastes good. Can you do the same? Can you eat your own groceries? Huh? Can you eat your own groceries? No. <laughs> Cargamel. <laughs> yeah, look, Theo, she done blew you a whole kiss and all. Look at that. Come on, Coop. Well, brother Coop, you get them 100,000 subscribers, go and glaze them motorboats, Theo. Coop. Coop, you wouldn't even, like the sister said, or uh, the one brother keeps saying in the chat, a lot of people aren't even looking above the neck. Coop, you ain't even got to look above the neck. You, you know you know where your sights is set, huh? <laughs> Just focus on the mission. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? Look at that. Look at that. Target practice. Target practice. <laughs> uh? Theo, we call this target practice, Theo. You just aim for one of them things and, and fire. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> uh, Motorboat approved for shickety. <laughs> yeah, this woman here. That's her. So Detroit stand up or sit down. Either one. I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And that's her mama, I think. Oh, the apple don't fall. She got she got her mama's chin, but her daddy's face. There you go. Got her mama's chest too, and them little legs. Look at them little. Her. <laughs> See that? Can't be skipping leg day. <laughs> little leg. <laughs> yeah, this sister. She ain't got no kids. That's the net net of it for her, though. I'll give her that. She ain't got no kids, so true. But her true. attitude and. And as the good minister said, her mouth? No, thank you. Huh. Could, see, outside her attitude of software and that mouth, she could be a wife. Could be wife material. There go her daddy right there. So, I was right. <laughs> <laughs> but she got a nice body, but that face, man. Shout out to Racha. Shout out to Racha. Your point getting mm -hmm. driven home tonight. Yes, it is. So, like we said, we're gonna move off of this sister. This was it. This was this was her. All right. But if you watch her talk with no man by your side because your damn mouth is what it is. It's a snake pit. <laughs> That's all. That's all. <laughs> so yeah, the net net of it, this is a very brutish masculine sister. And you know, from what I'm taking from tonight is black women, y'all are becoming exhausting. Because that's how I feel right now, after all. It's exhausting at this point. Like, y'all got to stop. We to the point now where y'all turn a minute to incels, passport bros. Like, oh. y'all, it ain't looking good, man. What what has what has happened? Is it, what's, what's this movement? Is it going to be that married men gonna be standing in the gap for you single ladies because passport bros is gone you know this incel movement they ain't feeling y'all is it us married men the last people standing in the gap trying to save y'all from yourselves huh <laughs> yes so in the meantime for the sister we gonna you say junior band i would say big band because you know what? I was you know, that was pretty, if she was 26, then you say there's room for change, but 36, 37, 40, she almost 40. It's, she ain't changing. You know what? I was premature on uh my judgment. Yeah, yeah, because she said a lot more after I said so. Yeah, she, yeah, 
Yeah, she it's time for her to go. Yeah, so over the hills, through the woods, folks. It's over. Indeed. Out of there. That's a shame. 20, 30, 36, not 26. 36, no children, and disqualified. Big band work. Why? Arrogance. And that and that mouth, the mouth of a snake pit. Got you the big band. See that? No kids. <laughs> That's a shame. Yeah, it's rough, man. Like I said, the greatest word I can think of is just exhausting. Y'all women... <laughs> Black women in particular, y'all mm. are exhausting. Even the ones that think y'all good women. It seems like all of y'all, y'all are becoming exhausting to mm. men. Like either y'all going to listen and understand and make some changes or it's, or it's checkmate. <laughs> yeah, what is checkmate? It depends. Shout out to the heathen queen. And it, and it ain't good. It ain't good at all. Yeah. It's it's unfortunate. The heathen, even the heathen queen herself was up here, you know, doing her best to uphold the sisterhood. And she just couldn't. She said, she let it be known. She said, I'll be trying to counsel these sisters and I can't. Why? Because they're exhausting. Can't they ain't listen? I, my question still remains: who will the modern melanated woman listen to? She ain't listening. She stopped listening to Tyler Perry as soon as he was trying to make some sense. They turning on Oprah. Huh? They weren't listening to Kev while he was trying to stand in the gap and did an amazing job. Who will the modern woman listen to? They won't listen to their mothers. They won't listen to the heathen queen. Who will the modern melanated woman listen to? Or is she completely rogue? <laughs> 